What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I am dipping on some Smoky Mountain tobacco free dip here today. But in our last Extreme Dirt Tour series race, we won, but John Schneider hates us and we hate him. So he's saying, you are the worst driver I've ever seen, Snussy Copen. I guarantee you, you won't finish the next race. Challenge accepted. Let's see how like or how much you like the wall because uh, John, you need a dick. Anyway, I believe we're going back into the truck series for this one. Yes, 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 sir. The M&M's 200 at Iowa. Purse is $39,500. It's a short track. So, let's go over. Let's check out our short track car. So, our engine's going to be good. Let's get you up to an 81. You up to an 80. And, we'll just waste you here. Get you going there. Yeah, I want to lock them in. Lock them in, lock them in, lock them in. Start your work now, you know what I'm saying? So, goal here is to get another top 15 finish in the truck series. And uh, we have a somewhat decent car, a truck going into the M&M's 200, but I will meet you guys at the freaking track. All right, all right, you guys know the deal. We're skipping practice. We're gonna go to qualifying, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. And our goal time is a 26.058. See how we qualify here at Iowa. And the Hooters 94 forward. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Weather has been so crazy here in Pennsylvania, by the way. Yesterday, there was freaking snow on the Jetta and all of our cars when I woke up yesterday morning. Insane. Freaking May, and we have snow outside. Fuck global warming. Everybody says it, you know, it's too freaking hot. Dude, it just snowed in May. I don't want to hear it. Was it a cumulative? No. Was there snow on the hood of my car to where it covered my car? Yeah. Yeah, there was. So, let's see if we meet our qualifying goal. We did. Starting P12 today at Iowa. Race time. Gonna love. Thank you. Iowa Speedway. Clay Greenfield, he's a good friend of mine. Sheldon Creed isn't, isn't nearly as fast as expected. Brett Moffitt is our pole winner. I wish I could snag the number 24, but number four is associated with Jeff Gordon, and it always will. 94, I love Bill Elliott. My brother loved Jeff Gordon, so I'm not trying to use it. Gilman, what in the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, I know you hate me. But, geez, you're going to get a little bit of a shove here going through one and two. That was bullshit. I pushed you into the top ten, and you know what? I'm going to take you out of it, too. Douche. I'm drive like a fucking idiot before we even get into turn one and two. Douche. I don't think you're in the clear now. This is a 14-lap race. I'm going to catch up to you keep forgetting this is a short track and I do need to utilize my brakes mm -hmm. I want to get in the top 10 get back up to him I don't even think I need to use my brakes I just need to pay attention and know when to let off the damn front hole anchor let's try to shoot underneath him Alright, so we're in the top 10 right now. Definitely don't have quite the whoa, straightaway speed, but that's alright. Ooh, wiping out behind us. I feel like I had something to do with that, but that's beside the point. We just won't talk about it because we're going to continue to stay in the top 10. I don't care who gets in my way. 
Beautiful. I think we got that turned down pat now. We're good. We're good. Lassard, huh? Lassard, Mr. Rookie. Mr. Get out of my damn way. Give you a little push. See, it's like, as a kid, like, I always think about numbers, right? So you think about numbers, and when I think of 94, I think of Bill Elliott. When I think of 24, I think of Jeff Gordon. When I think of 46, ah, oh, what the hell is his name? He raced in the ARCA series. Oh, man. Damn, now I can't remember. Because Bobby Gerhardt, all right? Bobby Gerhardt is a local NASCAR driver. You guys have seen the video where uh, Bobby actually gave my dad a Gander Truck Series truck to use for his iRacing setup, and uh, I forget the damn guy's name, but him and Bobby would always go at it at freaking Pocono, and it would be great, like, he would give us tickets to go to Pocono, we'd go up, we'd watch him, and him and this guy would always go at it, I'm gonna have to look it up after this race, for some reason I'm just brain farting as to what his freaking name is, damn, 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 damn. When I think of 51, I think of Kyle Busch as much as I hate Kyle Busch. So, going back to like childhoods, right? So like my childhood, my favorite NASCAR driver was Bill Elliott. So, reason behind that. So my brother and I always played all the late 90s, early 2000s NASCAR games and Everybody was a fan of Dale Earnhardt. Now, I was a fan of Dale Earnhardt, but I wouldn't say like he was my favorite driver because I wanted to be a little bit different, took that turn a little bit too hot. Um, my brother loved Jeff Gordon, who Jeff Gordon was just a dominating machine in the 90s. And uh, I loved McDonald's. Still to this day, love McDonald's. So, it's all the McDonald's cars. I was like, dude, that's my favorite driver. Then I turned into, I liked Casey King because he took over for Bill. And uh, now, favorite driver, obviously, being Chase Elliott. So, going back, who was your first or all-time favorite NASCAR driver and why? And put that in the comment section down below. Because I, I am genuinely curious. Because, like, my mom, for some reason, loved Michael Waltrip. And I thought Michael Waltrip was a dipshit. But my mom liked Mikey. We actually went and saw uh, Mikey's shop when my brother was in basic training. Back in like 2011, we went down and saw Mikey's shop. And, uh, you know, just thinking about all the different cars, like from when I was like a little kid, it's just, it's so cool to like look back. And I still have a lot of my old like Matchbox NASCARs and stuff like that to where like, it's just cool to see like the old paint schemes. And that's what I was seeing in the last NASCAR upload. Like it'd be so cool if like we could have like throwback cars, you know, whether it's the older drivers with their older cars. And I get like there's a process because certain companies don't want to sponsor or whatever the case may be but like something man that would that would be so freaking awesome to like if i wanted to i could run as bill elliott even if it was in a in the new generation cars like i just i think that would be so freaking cool now obviously the paint booth in here you can half-ass make some stuff you guys have seen me make mike skinner's lowe's car you guys have seen me make Mar martin's valvoline car and uh mark martin's actually turned out pretty damn good and i put it on the new ford mustang looks pretty cool but like It'd be nice to have that, like, just come standard, like, as something that was, like, maybe even unlockable. Don't try to shove your nose down in there, dog. You're gonna have some issues, boy. Mmm. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you want to do that, huh? Sure would be a shame if I pushed you out of the damn way again. You're gonna have to fight for it, dude. If you want to keep that spot and you want to secure it down, you're gonna have to... Either A, secure the inside to where I can't get it, or pass me on the outside. So, you pick your move. 51 car is probably going to try to shoot down here. Yep, because I got a little squirrely coming out of three. But, white flag. Can we hold on to P7 here? Going to have to fight for it. They're going to give me some issues here. Coming into three and four, I can already tell. And then coming out of four, they're going to be getting one hell of a run. Ooh, he decided to back off and go on the outside. This is going to hand us ka -ching, ka -ching, the P freaking 7 for this freaking race. I love it. Boom, boom, boom. P freaking 7. And our Hooters, 94 4. Where does that put us in points? Because we've been running great like the past five freaking races. That's got to put us somewhere decent. 
19th in points. All right, I'm all right with that. 19th in points. Yeah, we're a little bit back. So we have 183 points. Leader, Brett Moffitt has 336 points. He has two wins. Matt Crafton, 323, two wins. So we're a little bit back there. I think we could get ourselves in the top 15 of points before the end of the season here. What do you guys think? Maybe we can knock uh, Mr. Gillen out of the way too. Freaking prick. Our boy, Mr. Todd Gillen, not too happy with us. Hey, Snussy Copen, since you keep wrecking me every race in all capital letters, you are going down next race. Our team has freaking momentum. Bada boom, bada bing. So we have almost $200,000 in our freaking bank account. Where are we heading to next? What's going on? Back in the truck series. I like it. I like it a lot. WWT Raceway for the Driving for Lyman 200. Let's uh, see what upgrades we can do here. So, I'm going to upgrade my employees. So, you're a 12. Let's bump you up to a 12, dog. Ooh, you're breaking my bank account. Mm, killing me. And you're going to break it, too. Mm, killing me. What does it cost to make our stuff go up here. We're not really pitting, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not worried about that. What's this going to do? Ugh! I'm going to do it. Break smart. I'm going to do it. Hmm. Alright. Let's assign our work. So with our engine being a max of 90, we can max it out and then send our boy Brendan over to work on our short track car. Robert, you do your do. Quentin, you do your do. We're gonna have a 90, 85, 85 for the next race. Definitely gonna have a really, really nice truck. Hopefully something to give us a top five finish here at WWT Racelet or Raceway. 11 laps, $34,000 purse. Let's get ready to go all right guys second race here driving for lyman 200 we have a 95 85 85 car we're going to skip practice we are going to qualify all right dig driver goal time is a 36.437 i don't know as if i've never run here to be honest with you guys So as we get out onto the track, it's like a very large Martinsville is what it looks like. Very, very large Martinsville. Like I said, first time here, qualifying wise, I don't know how great I'm going to do. I'm trying to get a feel for the track. Like I said, a qualifying goal is at 36.473. Get the green flag here. Ooh, I don't like how the truck just like pulled itself up and then they got a little cove and a safer barrier on the outside there. That's not good. It's a good way to just wreck and annihilate your day, ruin your NASCAR heat career for today's episode. Definitely, definitely gonna have to get a feel for this track while we're racing. Qualifying time, I don't think it's gonna be that great. I think we're gonna start in the middle of the pack here. Eh, but a qualifying time might not be that bad. Oh, jeez. Starting 12th. Hell, I'll take it. Not gonna have to tell me twice to start P12 and be happy. Shit. Once again, another night race. Goal position to start, or finishing, is P15. Sheldon Creed, well prepared for the race. Jordan Anderson failed technical inspection. Tyler Dipple failed optical scanning station multiple times. Dipple, what are you doing, dog? Come on, man. 
All right, let's get ready to roll. Start on the outside as much as I hate it. Hate it every single time. Uh, where's our boy going? He looks like he's up close to the pad. Come on, I'm, I'm like letting off so freaking much. Oh, that's our that's our friend who sends us videos. We can't piss him off. All right, let's 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 get a run out of two here. Do we have the straightaway speed? We're keeping up with them, so that's a plus. It's a freaking plus. Now we're pulling. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Shit. There's our boy. Come here, Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. You talk so much shit. Hit me, dog. I ain't even mad. Alright, alright, alright. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty mad. Let's restart this race. Nope. 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 All right, I keep messing up there. All right, let's restart this race. <clears throat> Rule number one to wrecking somebody. Don't wreck yourself. So, that was my bad. I just, I just really wanted to piss him off. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, I'm letting off. Come on, come, come, yep, yep, you got it, good stuff. Yeah. You need to lose so much damn momentum. You know what, we're, we're just not gonna be friends, so we're, we're, just, we're just not gonna be friends here because you drive so damn slow. You, you ain't nothing but in the way. Look at that, jumping from P12 start to P8 right now. Let's see if we can get up to Gillen run again and maybe dump him, but not dump ourselves because we, we kind of kind of fucked up on that on the, the first trial of this. So we've definitely caused a separation here between the front pack and this second pack here. So as long as we can ugh, not do that and get some momentum, get up to the front, ruin Gillen's day, I'll be completely happy with this race. P7, we're going to take away 6 from Ankrum here in the turn, hopefully. Tried to run you clean there, dude. You got myself too low, I apologize. Moffitt, who is our points leader, he's up there. We don't want to we don't want to mess with him, but if, if he gets tangled up in the mess with Gillen once we get up to Gillen, then, then so be it. You know, I'm not, not going to lose sleep over it. I'll take that. I'll take that. It was solid. Still in P6. I ain't even mad. That worked out in our favor. As long as he finishes behind us, I, I really don't care. I mean, we can easily jump up into P4 here by just being a dick. I like it. I like it a lot. See? I hit you, but I also saved you. How do you like that? Now we're now we're a top five car. And we're only freaking on lap four. Who knows? Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't think we'll get our first truck series win here today. But definitely have the capability of maintaining a top five spot here today. Gillen is just every race causes me an issue and uh, getting really tired of his shit. So dumped him the first race, wrecked myself. Dumped him the second race, wrecked myself. But actually corrected both of us when uh, other cars came through and hit us. So. You know, I'm completely okay with that. Still violated the number one rule of wrecking somebody intentionally, and that is to not wreck yourself, but that's all right. So we've created a little bit of a separation here, once again, between us and the pack behind us. Who is behind us? Anchor. All right, solid. As long as I don't see Gillen in my rear view, I, I feel like I have nothing to worry about. So. Now it's just gonna be a matter of I don't I don't think we have the car to win here today. I feel like if we didn't deck around in the beginning, we probably would have. Um, but you know we can maintain the top five spot up here, which would be great. Really help us out in our points scenario. Me taking that turn way too damn hot is not helping us one bit. This is where it gets like kind of boring because like. I'm stuck in between two packs of cars right now. I'm just kind of all by myself. 
I kind of get some momentum rolling into the turns and then I do something stupid and then the pack behind me ends up catching up and you know maybe that could be a good thing maybe get a little bit of draft from them but in the same token I want to finish top five so I'm getting dangerously close to that freaking wall that I was telling you guys about this go with it and end your day all right, all right, all right. I think that's Gil and two cars back really pissed off. Yep, yep, yes it is. He is a man on a mission right now to get up to me. We can get up to Hill. Maybe get a little bit of a push. Get up to Hill, get away from Gil, and if we get next to Gil and again, I don't care, I'll just wreck him. We ruin our day, we ruin our day, that's what it is. But, four to go. See, I come in too damn hot and I just can't stick it. You know what? Maybe I won't go in. Maybe I want you to get up to do it. Come on. I want you to race me for P5. Not I. Anchor, you can leave it. Let go on through. Let go on through. Let him through. Let him through. Let him through. Let him through. Go on. Come up and draft me, boy. Come on. Come on. Hey buddy, how's it going? How you doing? We got dumb lucky there, really dumb lucky. This is fun. He's pissed. He is pissed. That's all right. That's completely all right. He can be pissed. Two to go. Come on, get back up here with me. I'm gonna piss off a lot of people this race. Outside, outside. You got room. You're clear. I'm gonna have no friends in the truck series. Alright, you're clear. You got room. You're clear. <laughs> uh, he keeps like we both keep getting saved by wrecking. We both keep getting saved. One of these times he's just gonna come up here and dump me. And you know what, I 100% I deserve it if he does, but we only have one lap for him to do it. So if he's going to do it, he needs to come in hot as hell into one and two here and just hammer fist the fuck out of me in one. Will he do it? Nope. Come on, dude. You get one hell of a run out of two, and I know you do, because your truck's faster than mine. Come on. I didn't touch him there. I mean, I drove him like a dick, but I, I didn't touch him there when he spun. But we are going to finish P5. Bam. Not even paying attention while I'm driving. Got P5 in this race here today. As always, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's see where we're at in the point standings. Gillen still finished P9, even though I raced him like a dick the whole race. All right, all right. Puts us in 16th in points. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys. We're right behind Dipple. 16th in points. See you guys in the next career upload.